Hi Taurus, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Taurus, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Taurus. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Three of Wands, and this is Fire Energy, Sagittarius, Aries, Leo Energy. So this is a card of um, rapid growth, and um, there's this feeling of things taking off. Something you've been patient with, you're finally seeing some sort of results. If you've been waiting to hear from someone, there's this energy of hearing back from them. Your ship's basically coming in with this energy. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the star, Aquarius energy, the ten of wands, fire energy, and the sun, Leo energy. So definitely something is working out for you here. It's been a long journey. Something was becoming draining, difficult to bear. Um, there could have been a lot of enduring happening here. Or it was just becoming, if you've been waiting for something, it could have become, it's starting to become a burden. But it does look like the burden is about to be lifted. With the star card, something you've been wanting to manifest, wishing for, hoping for, praying for, is finally coming in here. The sun card is a card of happiness, joy, a period of good times. And again, there's this, this feeling of, you know, getting good news. Okay, so let's clarify these cards. So we have the Queen of Swords, and this is Air Energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius Energy. So there's some sort of communication coming towards you. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have the Ten of Wands in the reverse, Fire Energy. The Page of Wands, Fire Energy. And the King of Wands, Fire Energy. So there's definitely something that's been a burden for you. Something that's been difficult and draining is coming to an end. There's a feeling of support coming in and things just becoming lighter for you. And again, you're hearing from someone, someone you've been wanting to hear from. I do see you hearing from them with that page of ones. They are reaching out, they're initiating contact. And there's this clarity that comes from this, um, having this vision for where things are going in the future. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, um, Taurus. Okay, so we have nothing is yet set in stone, mutable moon. So a situation is changing here for the better. It's like you're coming out of this straining Ten of Wands energy. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you. Okay, so we have, it is safe for you to love. Open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. So there's definitely something that's coming towards you that you can trust and count, that, count on the fact that this is some good news that is reliable. There's this feeling of what you've been trying to manifest coming in and it, you, you can trust that this is meant for you. Okay, so I'm going to pull out another card for you. Okay, so we have white roads. New start and wisdom. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. So there's some sort of new beginning here. And there's this feeling of 
having some sort of understanding, so getting some sort of clarity in a situation and it's leading to a breakthrough. Okay, so I'm going to pull out a card for your advice, Taurus. Okay, so we have surrender frustration. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or to solving a block is to take a breath, center yourself and regroup so that you may approach the situation more, more calmly. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Taurus. I hope you have a really, really good day, Taurus. Bye, Taurus.